Hey everyone, I'm Andy and welcome to another episode of Easy Tiki Drinks. And today we're gonna be taking a look at a Mai Tai that is so far removed from your traditional Mai, well, not really. We're gonna swap out one ingredient. This Mai Tai that we're gonna do today does not include lime juice. Today we're gonna be taking a look at a grapefruit Mai Tai. So let's do this. Now, as you know, if you've been watching this channel for any length of time, I'm a huge proponent of using the Mai Tai to display different rums. And it's a great vessel for that, similar to the daiquiri uh, or even tequila for the margarita. But today what I wanna do is I wanna take a look at switching out a different ingredient. We're gonna keep the rums, we're gonna go pretty simple with it, and we're gonna swap out one of the main ingredients in a Mai Tai. We're gonna swap out the lime juice for grapefruit juice, which seems a little odd. So here's the deal. I'm gonna lay it down for you. The reason we use lime juice in tiki cocktails is to add acidity. This helps balance out the sweetness that we get from the syrups and the fruit juices, other, other fruit juices, right? Orange, pineapple, grapefruit for one. So if I'm using grapefruit juice, where am I gonna get my acidity from? Well, we're gonna introduce a kind of modern bartending technique. We're gonna talk about acid adjusted grapefruit juice. So let's kind of break that down. Very recently, I did a video, the Doomsayer's Grog, and I'll leave a card up here and a link down in the comments below, where I pre-batched something known as Dawn's Mix, which is a two to one grapefruit juice and cinnamon syrup. Now I can batch mine because as I mentioned in that video, I use something known as Super Juice. For those of you that don't know, Super Juice is a brand new modern technique that a lot of bars have started implementing, even home bartenders. Basically, citrus is becoming expensive. So in order to lengthen that out, there are techniques that we can use to help create almost like a artificial, but not like that canned or bottled stuff that you get in the supermarket, uh, juice that has the same exact flavor profile as lime juice, lemon juice, grapefruit juice, orange juice, but it lasts longer because essentially we're removing the cystinic acid that causes the oxidization. So since we're doing this, we can also do what's known as creating acid adjusted juice. And what that means is because we're actually adding the different acids, citric acid, malic acid to be specific, in these super juices to create that flavor profile, we can play around with those ratios. So we can create grapefruit juice that is less acidic, a little bit more bitter, and a little bit more sweet than lime juice, but we can up that acid and create a grapefruit juice that has the same acid level as lime juice. And that, my friends, is acid-adjusted grapefruit super juice, which is what we're gonna be using today. So let's take a look at what we're gonna need to make this grapefruit cocktail. Well, grapefruit Mai Tai. First, we're gonna need rum. Next, we're gonna need orange liqueur, orgia, demerara syrup, and of course, our grapefruit juice. The rum I'm using is Denizen Merchant Reserve 8 Year. The orange liqueur is Pierre Franz Dry Curacao. The orgia and Demerara syrups are homemade. And the grapefruit juice is acid adjusted grapefruit super juice. I'm gonna rearrange this. Awesome. So I wanna take a second to talk about super juice, where it came from, kind of who's been pioneering it, and where this recipe came from. So super juice was created by Nickel Morris at a bar known as Expo in, I believe it's Tennessee. Um, maybe even Nashville. And basically he started with lime and lemon. And he said, listen, if we use the peels and we use citric acids and malic acids, we can create something that is oleocitrate. We can blend that up with water to lengthen it out. We can add in the original juice to add body and voila, we have a juice that tastes exactly like the regular. Now another YouTuber, Kevin Cost, kind of took this idea and has run with it. He's adjusted the ratios a little bit based on David Arnold's liquid intelligence, which is great and it works awesome. And it creates a larger batch with a similar flavor profile. Kevin then released a video about grapefruit juice where he acid adjusted it, which is awesome for cocktails like daiquiris or other things. It's a little tricky in tiki cocktails. The reason being is because typically in tiki cocktails, we see cocktails with lime juice and grapefruit juice. The lime juice providing the acidity, the grapefruit juice providing flavor and bitterness. If we were to remove just the lime juice and use just acid adjusted grapefruit juice, it may be too acidic because we're basically doubling the amount of acidity that we would typically use. So that's why I wanna use the Mai Tai as a vessel because it only includes lime juice. I'm not replacing two juices, I'm only replacing one. Nickel did was then he released his non-acid adjusted, just regular super grapefruit juice uh, recipe. 
I took Kevin's acid adjusted ratios and used Nichols kind of like process for creating su uh, grapefruit super juice and combine them together to create an acid adjusted super grapefruit juice that tastes just like grapefruit juice with the acidity level of lime juice. That was a lot, I know, and it can be overwhelming. If you're interested in learning about this recipe that I used, please drop a comment below. I'll be more than happy to share it. But anyway, let's make this cocktail. We'll, then we'll talk about kind of the choices that I made about making this specific cocktail and we'll see how this goes. By the way, I have not done this before. I'm, this is the first time I'm making this cocktail. I didn't experiment with it. My ratios could be off. I, I have no idea. So we're gonna do this together. You ready? Because I know I am. So first we're gonna need an ounce of our acid adjusted grapefruit super juice. Next up, we're gonna need a quarter ounce of our Demerara syrup. Next up, we need a quarter ounce of our Orgia. By the way, for those of you that commented on my other video about the ultimate Jamaican Mai Tai with the Orja recipe, it is on my shoot schedule, so I just have a couple other videos to get out of the way, and then we'll do a syrups video specifically with this Orja recipe, which has been phenomenal. We're gonna need half an ounce of our orange liqueur. And last but not least, we're gonna need two ounces of our rum. Probably help if I use the two ounce side. I could do the one ounce side, it just takes longer. I'm just gonna grab our big tin here, add a little bit of ice. Pour our cocktail in. Give it a nice little whack. We're gonna whip shake for about five to eight seconds to chill and dilute. Awesome. I'm gonna grab our rocks glass here. Now I have two different colors of this Kahiko rocks glass. I have a black one and a white one. I chose the white one because I wanted to see if the grapefruit juice is going to change the color profile of this cocktail. It probably will. It won't be as kind of like greenish or it should be more on a pale pink side. So we'll see. Pour that right in. Yeah, and I can see even from the color here that it's just a, a slightly different hue, which is fine, it's to be expected. I'm gonna to top off with some more crushed ice. Awesome. Now for a garnish, we're gonna go with our traditional mint sprig. Now normally this is where I would put a spent lime shell in here, but I'm not going to. The reason being because A, there's no lime juice in this, and B, the way you make super juice does not leave you with any type of garnish that you could possibly use. So we're just gonna go with the mint sprig today. I'm gonna grab our straw, and there we have it. The acid adjusted, Grapefruit Super Juice Mai Tai, or we'll just call it a Grapefruit Mai Tai. Let's see how it tastes. So, first of all, let's talk about these choices that I made a little bit um, in me picking and, and proportions and ratios and all that kind of fun stuff. And we'll talk about this cocktail. First, obviously we have the uh, acid adjusted Grapefruit Super Juice. Uh, that's a no brainer. We went with an ounce because I wanted it to kind of be front and center. I wanted to see how this was gonna change the flavor profile. 
Then for the Demerara and the Orgia, I went for only a quarter ounce each because I did not want them to overpower and be front and center for this cocktail. We then went with our standard uh, Pierre Ferrand's half ounce. We didn't change that, it's pretty standard. And then we went with the Denizen. And we went with two ounces of the Denizen. Specifically, I chose the Denizen because it's a very middle of the road kind of Mai Tai rum. Uh, it's, a, it's a crowd pleaser, it makes a great Mai Tai, which I did a video on, you can check out here and in the comments below. And I didn't wanna pick something that was going to kind of overpower like a Smith & Cross or anything like that. And now it's easy to kind of see and play around with this because uh, you have less ingredients. So how did this turn out? Well, let's give it one more sip. It's interesting. It's not as different as I would have thought. The acidity is still there. It's the same acid level, which is phenomenal. It means it worked great. It's very well balanced. There's a touch of sweetness. The rum does take a little bit of a backseat here, uh, which is fine, it's to be expected. It is a kind of middle of the road kind of rum for a Mai Tai. The standout here is we're not getting the same brightness from the lime. Instead, we're getting brightness from the grapefruit juice and actually it's highlighting the orange curacao. So that kind of orange brandy flavor is really coming to the forefront and is pretty much the front runner of this flavor profile. Now we still get the sweetness from the Demerara and the Orgia and the Orgia is still present. So it's kind of like this orange almondy with a little bit of funk and rum in there. It's actually really, really good, and it is such a different feel to the classic 1944 Mai Tai made with lime juice. Is it better? I mean, better subjective. Do I think this is gonna be the new craze? Probably not. Making super juice can be labor intensive, but it does last a while. So it's either a lot of work up front for minimal work in the back end or kind of steady work throughout is how I look at whether you fresh juice or make super juice. It's definitely delicious. Could I see this going on a restaurant cocktail menu? Absolutely. If somebody wanted to create a cocktail menu, tiki inspired, and wanted to do a 1944 Mai Tai, but wanted to add their own twist to it, I think this would be a perfect way to do it. Now, it's definitely not a Mai Tai in the sense, it's still a riff, right? We swapped out lime for grapefruit. That is a huge proponent, but it has a very similar flavor profile and hits all the same notes. So, with a slightly different, different flavor, slightly different flavor profile. Overall, it's really great and I'm really happy I went through this experiment. And you know, if you guys are looking to do this as well, hit me up, I'll be more than happy to talk you through how to make the super juice and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video because I know I did. Uh, if you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, click that little notification bell. Go follow me over on Instagram and TikTok, at Easy Tiki Drinks. And I think that's it for now. By the way, I did pick up a couple shifts at a bar in Boston. So if you're looking to hang out, you want some great tiki drinks, uh, menu off menu, if it's slow enough, I'll be more than happy to, to sling some your way. So come on over to Wusong Road. Uh, I typically post my shifts over on Instagram in my stories. So if you wanna come say hi, see if I'm working, please do. I would, I'd love the company. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and until next time, take it easy.